Hi, my name is Gary, and I'd like to welcome you to this video um, about the Ignite NAD IR from STL Tones, a free impulse loader. And perhaps more importantly, I imagine plenty of people are familiar with this, but more importantly, I thought I'd show you how to um, save the um, presets and banks. Um, I didn't find this particular particularly intuitive and I didn't see anything um, in the manual to really provide any great clues as to how to go about this and the best way to do it. So when you open it up uh, initially, it should start something like this with a default bank and the um, the different uh, IRs that, um, that come with it in there. And it should also be that if you press um, that icon there, it should take you through to where they're stored. Now, if you go up one on there into the Ignite um, folder and look in the bundle um, folder, you'll see that the banks are stored in there. So if you make a note of where they are, this is where they happen to live on Windows. I'm not sure where they are uh, by default on a Mac. Uh, but as I say, if you start with the, the plugin in its default mode, then you should find them from there. So what I've done to make life a little bit easier for myself, uh, perhaps a bit in context, I should say, before I dis decided to get around to work out how to save these um, as uh, banks and, and presets within banks, it was always a case of I'd open this up and then hit this. I'd go into my folder, IRs, and... Uh, in the other um, loader that they have, Libra, which I'll do a video on at some point. Uh, I actually have it set up, and I can show you if I go into Libra, into the IRs there. I've actually got a shortcut that takes me through to where my IRs are saved. Uh, so let's put this back to where it was. Um, and then I'd go, go hunting. Um, pick something and load it up and do the same for the other side if I was working, if I wanted to be uh, working in stereo or dual mono. And it was starting to get a bit wary. I thought, well, let's, let's, um, let's see if we can make this a bit easier. So what I did was, I'd, from the uh, standard bank, I went through these and I just deleted all of them. Apart from the last one, it won't let you delete everything. You always leave one in there. So when you're down to the last IR, uh, if you hit the, the little E, you can now rename that. So I'm going to call that um, blank. Give it a name. So we've now got a blank. And for the sake of simplicity, say I was working in, in mono, and I was quite happy not, not having to... Um, to worry about saving pairs, matched pairs of IRs. I just wanted to audition things quickly in mono. So I turned that side off, turned the balance over to this side, perhaps even put that in solo. And I then go to the bank name and click on the bank name. So it's highlighted. And I'd call this, for example, um, blank. I'm typing around a, a mic stand at the moment, so I can't see quite what I'm doing. Stop that. Blank start, and then hit save, and that should take me through. Then to hopefully, will take me through to where I wanted to be. It hasn't, which is why I suggest that you locate where the folder is in the first place. So I can now move my way through there. Blank start, hit save, and now I've got a. a um, I can load. Uh, um, for example, where's the default? There's a default bank, which has all, all these IRs in it. But I can also go to load uh, blank start, which I've just saved, which has nothing in it. It only has the, the one one impulse in it. And from there, I'll, I'm now considered to start saving um, both presets and banks that uh, are useful to me. So what I would do would be open from here, go through, find my impulse responses. Um, so from here, we could go to my shortcut and go to, say, 
CCALS IRs, which I haven't um, saved any yet. Go to there, pull one up, hit open, and now they are, are all stored, or they're all available inside inside here under this, this preset one. So I can now rename that as um, CCALS. Hit OK. And I can then hit the plus sign to add another another um, preset. So on preset two, let's go back to here. Let's go to C cows and we go to half halfbacks. And let's say we're going to there. And now we can save that as halfbacks. For example, so we've now got both of those exist within here, and it's now it's a simple case of just clicking through the presets to then go down and, and, and audition what we want. Um, I've yet to, to really think of a super fast way of um, of storing um, presets. In, uh, in, in a way that you can browse through that you've still got flexibility. I mean, obviously we can still preset some stuff that we like, but I wanted the flexibility to be able to browse through quickly. So now we have those in there. We can add more. We can add, keep on adding as many as we like. We can go back to here. Now change the name. So this would be, uh, for example, now I've, I've still got more presets to add in here. There was still more... Um, um, well, uh, IRs available, but we can add that C cows in there. Hit save. Go back to, and again, it won't. It's not defaulting back to to where it where it needs to save. So we go back to here. C cows. Hit save, and now I have a, a bank called C cows, which when I open it has got all these IRs in it, ready to uh, ready to audition. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you did, please consider hitting the like and the subscribe buttons. And uh, good luck with your productions. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.